Good afternoon, YouTube. Today, I'm going to build a very simple little synth as a follow on from the video that I made last week where I talked about the basics of modular synthesis. So you can see here, <clears throat> I have a collection of modules and this is just the building blocks of what I'm going to use to make this extremely simple synth. I've got my mixer up here with a bit of reverb uh, just in case we need that. But without further ado, let's uh, just move this down a bit and uh, let's build a synth. So first and foremost, we're going to need this MIDI to CV module so that uh, I can control it with my little keyboard here. And um, of course, we're going to need a VCO. So that is going to be, we'll just use the saw wave this time. And um, we're just going to put that in to this VCA here. Um, and this VCA is going to control our volume. And we're going to control our volume with this envelope. But before we do that, let's set up the rest of our chain. So after the VCA, we're going to go into a filter. And I'm using this liquid filter here from Audible Instruments, just because I quite like it. And it's going to go in here. Uh, and at the moment, I'm using blue cables to denote audio. And I'll use other colors to denote different signals. Um, so before we get ahead of ourselves too much further, why don't I just send the volt per octave? And in this case, we're going to use pink to denote uh, CV signals. And we're going to send that into the volt per octave on the VCO here. And we're going to need a gate, but we'll get to that a bit later. So I'll just move this down. Um, in fact, I'll move all of these down. So I'm going to send out using blue again into my audio input. And it's just a constant signal because we're not controlling it with any envelopes or anything like that. Let's bring it into the scope as well so we can just have a quick look at it. That's our, that's our saw wave. Uh, we've got square wave, got triangle wave, and we've got sine wave. Um, maybe we'll do a square wave. Um, and let's put it into the audio input. Let's just turn that down because it's very harsh. Um, and let's put the envelope into the VCA. And we use a pink signal because it's going to be a uh, CV signal. And right away the audio stops because now the envelope is controlling the volume. And we're going to need a gate, which I'm going to denote with, where's this color that I want? Yellow. And we're going to come out of the gate output from the MIDI CV. And now when I play it on the keyboard, let's turn it up again. We get sound. It's a very basic sound, but it's sound. Um, and we also have the filter. Uh, in the signal chain. So now what we've got is we've got a VCO, VCA, and an envelope. And of course, all that's going into a filter. But what we need is another envelope. We could use the same one, but I think it's better to have another one to control the filter. So let's just duplicate this envelope. Let's uh, duplicate the gate. And we'll just do another envelope out into the frequency, frequency modulation input of the filter. I'm just going to dial the filter down a bit. And now, now the envelope is controlling the filter. So we probably don't need as much. Cool. So there we have it. We've got a basic synth. There's really nothing more <laughs> to say. That's pretty much it. We've got a synth. However, we can take this further. And before we do anything else, I think it'd be nice to have some velocity. 
So we're gonna need another VCA. Uh, we're gonna need another one VCA, just duplicate that. And so now what we're gonna have is we're gonna go out of one VCA straight into another one. And the reason we're gonna do that is because we need to control this other one with velocity. And you could, doesn't matter which order the VCAs go in, uh, you could put this VCA before the other one. It's not really a big deal, but there. Now we have velocity. And if I show you what it looks like on the scope, we can get a sense of what the velocity is doing. So if I just hit it really lightly, it's a very low signal. And you can see it on the VCA as well. So that's it. We've got velocity. Um, and now what we want, <clears throat> I think, what would be fun is to have another oscillator so we can get some detuning happening. So let's duplicate this oscillator and let's get a mix, um, a mix module. I think that actually a good mix module to use would be one of the ones from Venom because they have attenuators on them. There are plenty of others, of course, that also have that. I just like the Venom modules. Um, here we go. <clears throat> so we're gonna put this here and we're gonna send our VCO into the first input and we'll send our other VCO here to this input as well. And then we're just gonna do a mix out into the VCA. And we need to connect up our volts per octave again. Um, but now we should have two, let's bring the filter up a bit. If I detune this VCO. So we got a nice detuned bass now. But we can still take this further. Um, I'm just gonna move all this stuff over a bit because we're running out of space. Um, so the next thing I wanna do is use this LFO over here. Um, we could have two, we could have three, we could have four LFOs. Um, in fact, let's duplicate it because we're gonna want one over here for the filter, I think as well. Um, and while we're at it, let's get a few basic mix modules in place so that I can send the uh, envelope for the filter into this and I can send the uh, LFO into it and then we get both of them happening at the same time. And you might be wondering <laughs> what that's gonna sound like. And uh, it's now we've got the LFO affecting the filter. However, this is a problem because this CV mix or this mix module doesn't allow us to attenuate. So what we're gonna need, I think instead, is a CV mix module, which we have here. And it does the same thing, but we get control over the signals. So unless I bring this up, the LFO is not gonna have an effect. Let's spring. See, no, no effect from the LFO. And in fact, no effect from the envelope either because we need to turn this up. Now we've got the envelope and now, let's just get rid of this module. And we're gonna use this LFO over here to control the pulse width modulation of both of these oscillators. We could do these separately, have different LFOs for each. And in fact, what I think would be a good idea is to duplicate this CV mix and send two different inputs. And then we can control the volume. Thing is though, we don't really need to do that because we have this attenuator up here on each of the VCOs, so maybe we can just forego that. But you get the idea that some modules might have 
a detenuator built in. Um, like here on the liquid filter, we've got a frequency input, which can give us direct control of the filter, but we have a dedicated frequency modulation input, which does have an attenuator. Uh, so, you know, these things change from module to mod module to module. So just be aware of that. <clears throat> anyway, now we've got nothing happening, but if we bring this up, Cool. So that's pretty much it. I feel like that's that's the rudimentary basic synth. And if you really want to go wild, you can add poly polyphony, which is always nice. So bring it up to eight. Clipping a bit over here, but that's okay. Let's bring it down a bit. Um, the other thing that's fun is I've got a chorus here. It's just been sitting here waiting to be used and I'm going to use it. So we've only got a mono output, but then we're going to send it to a stereo input because the, um, the chorus is going to make our signal stereo. Let's uh, go up here, add a bit of reverb. And let's uh, adjust the envelope a bit. So yeah, that's it. That's my little synth. Um, there's nothing to it really. It's extremely simple. You can go wild with this stuff. Um, and in fact, right now, I think it'd be fun to look at some other synths that I've made, which are extremely more complicated than this. But hopefully this gives you uh, a good idea of the basics of just building a really simple little synth. All right, let's check out some other ones. All right, this is a synth that I made uh, a little while ago, probably last year sometime. Um, I just wanted to make like a Juno 106 clone. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the details of it. Um, it's not overly complicated uh, because the Juno 106 itself is a pretty simple synth. That's kind of why I wanted to start with it. But I figured I would just make a patch really quick and yeah. Hear what it sounds like. So I'm just gonna dial something in.
Now I've uh, I've set this to have six voices because the Juno 106 only has six voices, but of course we can go much higher than that if we really want to. I just want it to be kind of authentic with it. Um, let's dial in a few other things. So yeah, pretty simple stuff. Uh, lots of fun though. Um, let's move on to another synth. All right, so here's another one that I made. Uh, I wanted to make like a mini Moog clone. Um, and that's what I did, mostly using Vault modules. Um, and I think it sounds pretty good. Let's uh, dial in some more aggressive sounds. So yeah, pretty cool sounds. Uh, let's detune some of these. Also added a Russian filter using uh, where is it? This vortex filter down here. Was trying to sort of do like a polyvox kind of thing because the polyvox was like the Russian mini moog. Sounds pretty different though, which is good. So anyway, why don't we look at another synth? All right, so here we have another classic synth, um, the Oberheim SEM or SEM. Um, yeah. <laughs> So I think it sounds pretty cool. Um, uh, I'm using this, uh, these Oberheim filter modules from Surge, which I think sound really nice.
So yeah, fun little synth. Just makes me want to play like 70s funk. <laughs> Fusion funk. And just for fun, I know that this is a, a mono synth, but what if we made it have eight voices? The only thing about when you make something polyphonic is uh, because you've got so many more voice voices, um, it usually starts clipping. So one thing we could do to alleviate that um, is to bring in a VCA to sort of offset set, uh, offset that volume increase and just bring that there. On this one, I've also got a bit of reverb, some chorus. It is clipping a little bit. Let's uh, bring the wet level down a bit. Let's bring the drive down a bit. So anyway, you get the idea. <clears throat> Lots of fun. Uh, let's move on to one more. Okay, this one is much more complicated. And as you can see, it's quite big. Um, let's uh, just quickly make it polyphonic because that's what we're gonna want. Right here, this is based on two uh, poly 7Cs modules, which are wavetable modules and they're pretty complex ones from Nisthi. And, uh, I'm just going to dial in a sound. I've got, with all of these patches, I've been using MindMeld Patchmaster, which is like a really amazing set of modules to do macro controls. So I'm just going to dial in a patch um, and we'll see how we go. Let's bring in oscillator two. Let's bring the speed of these random modules and LFOs down a bit. And let's bring some reverb in, which we're going to do reverb fold, wave fold into reverb with this button here. And then we can wave fold it. I also have reverb into wave fold. <laughs> 
which is much more epic. <laughs> So I think you can see right away that this is a much more complicated synth. Um, the Seven Seas module is really excellent. I did cover them a little bit in the wavetable video that I did. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Maybe I'll go into this patch in greater detail at a later date. But this uh, from Storm Elder, this uh, intermix module is um, it's a really great matrix uh, where you can kind of just, well, you just use it as a matrix, uh, a patch matrix. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, really fun little synth, lots of modulation options. Yeah, really fun little synth, lots of modulation options. And that's going to do it for this video. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, I'm happy to upload the upload these patches somewhere. Um, but the only problem is, is that some of them use not free modules. Uh, I think this one uses all free modules, but there might be some modules which are not free, which maybe you don't have. So, you know, I'm not going to re-engineer the module, the, the patches to include free modules because that's just so much work. Um, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.